Well, my main focus is in photography. I do digital, um, color, and black and white. For printing an emulsion, you have to use an old Polaroid process, and you print the, your image. And then after it dries, I just go back in with pen and whatever colors that I choose to use and just go over it. <laughs> um, I want to go to MICA, which is Maryland Institute College of Art in Baltimore, for photography. My hope is to be a freelance photographer for musicians and work for a music magazine. Mine was the comic book. It was an eight panel series, like story about these two paintings that were across the hallway that fell in love with each other. And the only way to get there is to jump out of the painting so that they can be reunited. Um, since it is a comic book, I was a little hesitant about it because it's not a widely accepted form of art right now, but it's my passion, so it's what I wanted to draw. <laughs> I drew it in pencil on about that big of a sketchbook, and then I scanned it into Photoshop and colored it digitally. It's supposed to be read like a book, obviously, but I like to see them as individual pieces of art, like they should be, like sequential art. It takes a lot of things. It takes the composition, and you have to know each panel is a different picture. So it, I like that it's a bunch of art put into one, condensed into one space. I am a senior at Grapevine High School. I just got my acceptance letter yesterday to Ringling College of Art and Design, so I'll be an illustration major there. I painted that piece to kind of invite the viewer into my world. And so, I, while I was painting the piece, I, was, I raised my hand and painted it to invite the viewer into an interpretation of my world, which is a dark, pretty much dark world. And that's why it's painted at night. And I use a light source to kind of emphasize the figure, to make it bright and, and be the focal point of the piece. I'm planning on being an illustrator. And it means a lot to me because it shows my growth. Because last year, I didn't win an award, so it shows my growth. Um, my piece is called Tetris, and it is made with um, poured plaster of Paris. I had to create a um, mold for it, and I did that using um, just matte paper, which is really thick paper. And I taped the inside so that it wouldn't um, get wet and fall apart. And then I took the covering off, or the mold off, and then sanded it and water sanded, and that's also how I got it smooth. I hope to attend uh, an art college, uh, anyone that I'm trying to get into, and um, go from there. I took a photograph of the Myerson Symphony Center. I was there recently um, this year, and my eyes were drawn to the way um, the light fell upon the walls, and how the texture and elements of design, such as the lines, texture, um, color had popped in the image, and the reflection from the window um, really stood out to me, and I loved uh, texture in the wall, especially in the colors, the orange and complex colors, orange and blue. Um, just, it all popped me. I've studied elements of design a lot this, with, within the four years, and so um, it all came together in this piece. I do not know where I'm going next year. Still open, still deciding, still waiting to hear back from other colleges. And uh, I don't know what I want to be either. Just kind of want to figure that out freshman year of college and experience and take some new classes that I have not been exposed to yet, so. I love my dogs, and I love medium that I can like work with, like have complete control over. So I do more like dry things like that. I really like this like scratch board thing. I'm, I'm totally getting into it, and you know, people have been asking me to do other stuff with it. But like, the fact that I can just go in there and you know, just like control it, and it, it, I love cross hatching and just, stuff like that. I don't know, it, it's neat medium. I've never really worked with something like that before, but it's so cool. I like to work like just my life, but with this particular picture, you know, my dogs move around all the time. I figured I'd just 
get it in a pitcher first and do that, but normally I do it just from life. I like imperfection because, you know, if you want it to be just like completely detailed and have every single thing correct, you might as well take a picture. So like, you know, I support, you know, imperfections and I think, you know, just kind of add to whatever I feel looks better than in the picture. I'll add more contrast if I want to. Well, I plan to go to some art college and kind of keeping my op options open. I like to go into animation, animation, storyboarding, something to do with cartooning. Like, I mean, I take, you know, fine arts really seriously, but you know, I mean, you have to have that to get into there. You know, I take both really seriously, but I want to get into animation. Well, I always concentrate on the foundation of the art, which is line and shape and circle. And, and I think uh, you can show the dynamical looking of art by just using the, the simple foundation of the art, which is line and yeah, etc. And uh, my art piece is uh, basically about the carbon casting. And by simply using the uh, simply carving on deeper by certain area and show some line on certain area, it can just show some dynamical looking of uh, the art. Yeah. Most of the time, I use the copper, which is hard to sometimes it's hard to like cut it on and stuff like that. But it's really good. Um, it has a really good value of the color when you finish work with them. So I most of the time enjoy working with the copper. Yeah. I'm in senior from Kripia High School. For now on, I we're going to UTA, UT Arlington. And oh, I might uh, master, I might have major on the accounting and maybe a little bit about the art, yeah. I really enjoy doing the art, art, but then, yeah, I'm not really taking my future level in artists, so yeah.